guys I wanted to show you the pack that I picked up that I'm gonna start carrying instead of my big backpack now I'm gonna make a first aid kit out of this one and I just have it hooked on there because if I wanted to take it I could clip it like that I could just fold it out of the way and access the rest of the pockets on this bag and if I needed to get it off of there, I could just unclip it and it would come undone real fast. Now there are buckles on the back to where you could have strung it through and mounted it pretty much permanent. But this bag is a little bit bigger than this pocket area and I, I just didn't like the looks of it strapped on there permanent. And there'd be a lot of times this will be left in the truck and uh, It'll have, you know, first aid stuff in it for emergencies. But I also have enough room in this pack that I'll be able to have, uh, you know, emergency stuff in it if I need it on the trail. This is not for long, uh, you know, several day hikes. This is just when we're out exploring in the National Forest, walking up the roads and the trails. And plan on only being out for maybe a night uh, or just you know day hikes I've got a bottle pack mounted on here I went ahead and snapped it on I've took a lot of pictures of this pack so there'll be a lot of pictures that y'all can look at and I've just got a I've just got a little water bottle in here I say little it's you know full-size water bottle I don't know how many ounces that is but it's actually you can put a bigger one in there a bigger diameter and then it's got a little pocket on the side here velcro and straps on the outside straps on each side where you can clip stuff plenty of room to clip stuff if you wanted to you could take this off and you could actually mount it on your belt if you just wanted to take your water and uh, some snacks or whatever you need there the same way with this pack you could put other stuff in there let me undo this it's got these strings to where when you open it up it'll actually set with this up in the air but there's a zipper pocket down here. There's big, and then there's little bitty pocket back here. You can see that my hand fits in there. Let's see. Let's see. I've got a nine millimeter in the quick access pocket on the back of this pack, and I'm pretty sure it would fit in there. You could throw you a couple magazines in this pocket here and zip them up one could go right there it'd be big enough so you could actually put your your pistol in there along with some other items 
But like I said, I got this for a first aid kit. So I'll be adding stuff like that to this pack, filling it up, and it'll be ready for emergency use. As you can see, this pack has straps that are adjustable. So after you load this up, you can tighten this pack up to keep it all compressed, nice and snug. And you just unclip it to access your pockets. I've got like a compass and uh, a case with some waterproof stuff in it, or a waterproof case with some stuff in it, a battery charge pack in there. And then in this pocket back here, I guess I already do these, it also has the side straps that you can uh, compress your package after you get it packed up. Now we undo this one here. Let me use two hands. So the next pocket, I've got a little pistol in here. And the back pocket there. And then uh, there's a couple clips. There's a clip there. I got this is a clip to the nine millimeter. Okay, and it, you can put stuff up in, slide it up in there. There's Velcro, and there's strapping. And then you got a little pocket here in that pocket. There's a little pocket behind it. Okay, that's it there. It also has places where you can strap stuff there. Three of those. Velcro. Then you've got your big pocket. Big compartment behind there. And right now I've actually got some first aid stuff and just in a bag. I'm fixing to sort all that out. I took that out of my backpack. And now I've got some camera lenses in here and I actually store my camera in here. And then there's a big pocket behind there that I've got my camera, batteries, and charge stuff. And then there's a pocket on the front side that I've got more camera gear. And then there's this pocket, it's a zip pocket, it hangs on the inside, and I have mosquito nets for to go over your head and keep mosquitoes off your face and stuff, that's in there. And the whole reason I wanted this pack compared to my other pack, this is my original pack that I picked up. As you can see, it's a lot smaller, but I still use this pack. Let's move this one out of the way. Because sometimes you you just want as light as you can get. And if you want to carry some protection and some snacks. And uh, this water bottle would actually fit on there if I wanted it. But this has a water bottle netting on it. And for real quick jaunts, this little pack right here would be fine. And we've used it. And I really like it. It's comfortable to wear, but the issue that I had is since I bought my new camera, I had it around my neck on our last camping trip, and I had this pack with me, and it started raining, and that camera will not fit in this pack. So I had to kind of hide it underneath my shirt to keep it dry, so I decided, okay, I need a bigger pack. And uh, that's the main reason I picked this up. That camera will fit in this bag. No problem. Which I have uh, other stuff that goes in there when I put it in there. But there's plenty of room for that camera and all of the accessories that go with it. So, you know, that's why I got it. If it starts raining... I can put it in there and keep it protected, and I don't have to carry it around my neck when I don't need it. But, you know, just a lot safer being in this pack. So back to this big pack. Uh, I've just got some stuff, you know, clipped on the straps. Knife there. 
it's got a compass and a fire starter and some line if I run to emergency where I need to splint something up or something like that. Now this is the quick access pocket that's on the back. Now it's got the material on there that's supposed to keep you from sweating. Nice thick foam. You got a big piece of Velcro in here. So uh, if you have a Velcro holster, you could actually stick your holster to that and keep it up a little higher. Uh, but I've, let's see, it's on the other side because the way I reach in there to get it, this actually can unsnap if you want it to. But I've got my nine millimeter that's just real quick to get to in there. And there's also, on this other side here, I had to pull it out. I keep a whistle that's real quick to get to. And if I had, you know, anything else, you could slide your phone in there. Uh, it just depends on what you want to use that pocket for. Sometimes I've got my pistols with me, sometimes I don't. Some areas we're in, you can't have a pistol with you. So uh, be sure you check out your rules and regulations before you start toting a uh, weapon with you. But anyway, uh, it's a pretty good pack. You do have the, you can carry this over your back or you can carry the pack on your belly. Uh, one strap over your shoulder. And basically, this strap and this strap here, which is a straight strap, would go over your head and over your shoulder. If you have it on your back and you're using this strap, which that keeps the pack straight on your back, if you need to quick access it, say the pack is on your back and you need to quick access the pack, you would just unsnap this belt right here and you would slide the pack off your back around to your belly and it's a pretty quick operation then you have access to this pocket and anything else that's in the pack your water or whatever or you can just strap this and carry it on the front and you have full access of it now i do most of the time if i'm carrying it uh, i put it on my back and i use the strap and then i, I just if i need it i unclip and do the quick swing around and uh, it works pretty good. Maybe I'll show you how I do that one day. So there's a lot of YouTube videos that uh, people are showing how you slide that pack around if it's on your back and you know to access it really quick. Uh, now, if you notice, these colors are a little bit different. This is a darker than this, but they're close enough. I don't care. Uh, let's see about this one. This one's more the color of the big pack. But I guess that's pretty much gonna cover it. Uh, I'll go through and put my Amazon links on this video. So you'll, if you wanna order any of these, you'll know where they're at uh, on Amazon and can get to them real quick. But you know, it is gonna be pretty heavy with the camera equipment in there. And if you feel that, uh, full of water which I will and uh, all the other stuff that I have in this pack you know it don't take much to get heavy but I think it's going to handle it just fine as long as my shoulder can handle it now if I was going to go out for days at a time I would go ahead and put my regular backpack I would just transfer everything out of this into my backpack and I would take the big backpack because it's easier on your back and your shoulders if you're doing a double shoulder uh, harness instead of a single shoulder harness. And if you're just going really quick and you don't have to worry about taking a bunch of stuff, that right there is great. It's like carrying nothing and uh, you've got your water, your snacks, and whatever else you put in there with you. Uh, just there's no room for a camera and uh, you know gear like that but since we've got them all we're pretty much ready for anything we've got the little pack the medium pack and then we've got a big pack for you know a couple three day trips 
Well, that's it for this video, y'all. Uh, hope I didn't bore you too bad. But I wanted to kind of show you these tactical packs that I picked up. And they seem to be stitched well. And uh, not bad. So if y'all have any comments or questions about them, uh, be sure to comment below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified when we post new videos. And uh, hopefully we'll have some video where we're using these really soon. Uh, we're going to try to get out of the house this weekend and do something. I don't know for sure what that's going to be, but I am planning a camping trip soon and I've got all my gear ready. And I've got the truck ready, so it's just a matter of getting the area that I'm wanting to go to lined up and heading out to the forest. If y'all like this kind of content, uh, be a good reason to subscribe. You'll find some good places you can go camping. You might run across some gear that I've uh, reviewed and uh, that might come in handy for you also. And if you look in my comment section, I've pretty much got a lot of of the gear that we use from Amazon listed to where all you have to do is click the link and you can jump right over to Amazon and uh, pick those items up. Uh, we don't make any money off of y'all doing that. It's just a little bit of kickback from Amazon uh, for y'all using our uh, links to go to their site to order stuff. So it doesn't cost y'all any extra. And it's kind of convenient. Uh, if there's an item you see you want, you can go directly to it and get that part or item ordered. So I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a great rest of the week. And hopefully you have got big plans for this coming weekend. And we will see you later. Mm -hmm.